It is now my proud privilege to invite the Honorable Prime Minister to deliver his inaugural address. Ladies and gentlemen, the Honorable Prime Minister of India, Sri Narendra Modi. My colleague in the Union Cabinet, Sri Amit Shah, Interpol President, Sri Ahmad Nasar Al Raish, Interpol Secretary General, Sri Jorgen Stock, Director of CBI, Sri SK Jaiswal, Distinguished Delegates and Participants, I extend a warm welcome to everyone for the 98th Internal Interpol General Assembly. It is a great to have you here at a time that is significant for both India and the Interpol. India is celebrating 75 years of independence in 2022. It is a celebration of our people, culture and achievements. It is a time for looking back at where we came from and also for looking ahead at where we want to go. The Interpol is also approaching a historic milestone in 2023. Interpol will be celebrating 100 years of founding. This is a good time to rejoice and reflect, learn from setbacks, celebrate victories, and then look to the future with hope. Friends, the concept of Interpol finds a connect with various aspects of Indian philosophy. The motto of the Interpol is connecting police for a safer world. Many of you may have heard of the Vedas as one of the world's oldest scriptures. One of the verses in Veda says, Ano Bhadraha Kratavo Yantu Vishwataha. It means, let noble thoughts come from all directions. This is a call for universal cooperation to make the world a better place. There is a unique global outlook in India's soul. This is why India is one of the top contributors in sending brave men and women the United Nations peacekeeping operations. Even before our own independence, we made sacrifices to make the world a better place. Thousands of Indians fought and died in the world wars. From climate targets to COVID vaccines, India has shown willingness to take the lead in any kind of crisis. And now, at a time when nations and societies are becoming inward-looking, India calls for more, not less, international cooperation. Global cooperation for local welfare is our call. Friends, the philosophy of law enforcement is best ex explained by Chanakya, the ancient Indian philosopher. 
आन्वीक्षकी त्रयी वर्ता नाम योग क्षेम साधनो दंड तत्स नीति ही दंड नीति अलब्ध लाभार्थ लब्ध परीक्षणी रक्षित विवर्धनी बुद्धस्य तीर्थेशु प्रतिपादनी च इट मीन्स द मटीरियल एंड स्पिरिचुअल वेलफेयर ऑफ ए सोसायटी इथ थ्रू लॉ एन्फोर्समेंट लॉ एन्फोर्समेंट अकॉर्डिंग टू चाणक्य हेल्प इन गेनिंग वॉट वी डू नॉट हैव प्रोटेक्टिंग वॉट वी हैव इंक्रीजिंग वॉट वी हैव प्रोटेक्टेड एंड डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिंग इट टू द मोस्ट डिजर्विंग दिस इज एन इंक्लूसिव व्यू ऑफ लॉ एनफोर्समेंट पोलिस फोर्सिस अक्रॉस द वर्ल्ड आर नॉट जस्ट प्रोटेक्टिंग प्रोटेक्टिंग पीपल बट आर फर्दरिंग सोशल वेलफेयर दे आर ऑल्सो एट द फ्रंट लाइन ऑफ सोसाइटीज रिस्पॉन्स to any crisis it was most visible during the covid-19 pandemic across the world police personnel put their own lives at risk to help people out many of them even made the ultimate sacrifice in service of the people i pay my respect to them even if the world comes to halt the responsibility of keeping it safe does not go away the interpol reminded functional 24 by 7 even during the pandemic friends india's diversity and scale are hard to imagine for those who have not experienced it it is home to the highest mountain ranges one of the driest deserts some of the thickest forests and many of the world's most densely populated cities india packs the future of con- continents in just one con- country for example india's most populous state uttar pradesh has a population close to that of brazil our capital delhi has more people than the whole of sweden friends the indian police at the federal and state levels cooperate to implement more than 900 national and around 10000 state laws add to this the diversity of india society people from all the major religions of the world live here they are hundreds there are hundreds of languages and dialects spoken massive festivals attract millions of devotees for example kumbh mela the largest and longest spiritual mass gathering and the world had 240 million pilgrims with all this our police forces work with respecting the diversity and rights of the people promised by the constitution they not only protect the people but also serve our democracy take the scale of india's free fair and massive elections election in all arrangements for around 900 million electorals this is close to the population of north and south american continent taken together about 2.3 million police personnel are deployed to help with the elections in upholding diversity and democracy india is a case study for the world friends 
over the last 99 years the interpol has connected police organization globally across 195 countries this is despite differences in legal framework system and languages in recognition of this a commemorative stamp and a coin have been released today friends despite all the past successes today i want to remind the world about a few things there are many harmful globalized threats that the world faces terrorism corruption drug trafficking poaching and organized crime the pace of change of this danger is faster than earlier when threats are global the response cannot be just local it is time and it is high time that the world comes together to defeat these threats friends india has been committing transnational terrorism for several decades long before the world book up to it we knew the price of safety and security thousands of our people made the ultimate sacrifice in this fight but it is no longer enough that terrorism is fought only the physical space it is now spreading its presence through online radicalization and cyber threats at the click of button an attack can be executed or systems can be brought to their knees each nation is working on strategies against them but what we do within our borders in our longer enough there is need to further develop international strategies establishment of early detection and warning systems protecting transportation services security for communication infrastructure security for critical infrastructure technical and te technological assistance intelligence agents many of the things need to be taken to a new level friends some of you may have be thinking why i spoke of corruption as a dangerous threat corruption and financial crimes have harmed the welfare of the citizens of many countries the corrupt find a way to power the process of crime in different parts of the world this money belongs to the citizen of the country from which they have been taken often this has been taken from some of the poorest people in the world further it is such money that is pushed into evil activities this is one of the major source of terror funding from illegal drugs and that destroy your life to human trafficking from weakening democracies to the sale of illegal arms this dirty money funds many destructive enterprises yes there are diverse legal and procedural framework to deal with them however there is a need for the global community to work even faster to eliminate safe havens there can be no safe havens for the corrupt terrorists drug cartels poaching gangs or organized crime such crimes against people in one place are crimes against everyone crimes against humanity further this not only harm our present but also impact our future generations 
police and law enforcement agencies need to devise procedures and protocols to increase cooperation. Interpol can help by speeding up of red corner notices for fugitive offenders. Friends, a safe and secure world is our shared responsibility. When the forces of good cooperate, the forces of crime cannot operate. Friends, before I conclude, I have an appeal to all the guests. Do consider visiting the National Police Memorial and National War Memorial in New Delhi. You can pay respect to the heroes who laid down their lives to keep India safe. These were men and women, just like many of you, ready to do anything for the nation. Friends, let communication, collaboration and cooperation defeat crime, corruption and terrorism. I hope the 19th International General Assembly proves to be an effective and successful platform for this. Once again, I welcome you all to this important program. Thank you. Namaste. Thank you, Honorable Prime Minister, sir.